much. We now have the keynote address by Shri K. Ram Mohan Naidu Garu, Honorable Union Minister of Civil Aviation, Government of India. Andariki Namaskaram. The visionary and dynamic Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, Honorable Minister for Investments and Infrastructure, B.C. Janardhan Reddy Garu, Secretary, Ministry of Civil Aviation, Walnam Garu, Chief Secretary of Government of Andhra Pradesh, Nirap Kumar Prasad Garu, Secretary to Government Investment and Infrastructure, Suresh Kumar Garu, all the other respected dignitaries on the dais, respected ministers, respected people from the industry, the Drone Federation of India, Bharat Drone Industry, CII, and especially the young students who have come here to witness this great historic moment. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome to Amaravati and welcome to the Amaravati Drone Summit 2024. This is the first time I'm sharing the dais with Honorable Chief Minister after becoming the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And I'm very happy that it is an event concerning to my ministry. And the reason, this is one thing I have to say, this is the biggest and the first of its kind summit regarding drones that is happening outside the National Capital Territory of Delhi. And you would all know the reason why it is happening in Amaravati. It is because of one and only one person, that is our Chief Minister, Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. In fact, after taking charge as Minister for Civil Aviation, lot of Chief Ministers from different states have come to me. And always the idea has been, whenever I've been discussing with those Chief Ministers, they have been requesting for either more airports, more connectivity. If they want to extend it a little bit, they were talking about heliports or helicopter operations. But only one Chief Minister from the country, when he came to me, he talked about airports, he talked about air connectivity, and he dug a little more deeper and he talked about drones, and that is our Chief Minister, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. And he asked, he asked as Minister of Civil Aviation, what exactly are you doing in drones? Because Andhra Pradesh wants to become the drone hub of the country. We want to utilize drones in a very big way. So give us a direction so that Andhra Pradesh can move in that direction. So with those words, this summit was born in Delhi at that time. And he said, you organize a summit, we will be there. You organize it, Amaravati, so that the whole country looks at Amaravati for once for this event. So once we have conceptualized, the whole thought process came in. And at every step, the Honorable Chief Minister has been guiding us, giving us so many suggestions. And today, with the help and support of the government of Andhra Pradesh, we were able to put up such a grand show. So I thank the Honorable Chief Minister, La Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, and the whole government of Andhra Pradesh for putting up a wonderful show and making it a huge success and inviting so many people for this. And once again, I would like to share another story. This is the story of Hyderabad. In the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, I was 12 years old and uh, 1996, actually 10 years old. And at that point of time, Hyderabad was just like any other city in the country, any other capital city. Nothing great happening in that city. But our Honorable Chief Minister at that time, who was Chandra Babu Naidigaru, he envisioned, he saw the potential of that city. And he started designing. And he started visioning. He started looking into the future. And he made the Vision 2020. And you could imagine in 96, if you are thinking about Vision 20, how many, 2020, how many years forward he was looking at. 24 years forward. And that point of time, everyone was wondering, what is going on with him? Why is he looking at 24 years? The whole idea about a political leader, the whole idea about a politician is to win the next election. But Chandra Babu Naidugaru is not about elections. He is about the next generation. And that is what he has proved in Hyderabad. When he was planning the vision 2020, and he was doing the airport, the first of its kind airport, Nobody was thinking about Greenfield airports. He envisioned it in Be Begum, uh, Shamshabad. And he was thinking about liberalizing telecom network, road network, ring roads, IT, so many medtech zones, different kinds of activities. And he put it 
in the vision 2020 and he nurtured it like a child and today after 24 years we have crossed 28 years and now you go and see Hyderabad city it is not just any other city in India it is a world-class city that which and everyone in the country is proud of so the reason I'm sharing this story is because today when we talk about drones and he talks with the same zeal that we would have seen in Hyderabad in 96 he talks about drones as a way that can change the entire social economic and the physical fabric of this country and the way he envisions things being a youngster it is very difficult for me also to match up and catch up with his ideas all the time it keeps happening I feel that I've got a smart idea I've got a great idea when I go to him he adds 100 different features to it and he takes it to a much different level and that is the kind of inspiration he gives to all his youngsters today and today with his guidance with his support with his blessings in the NDA Alliance when we were given one cabinet ministry he didn't hesitate to give it to one of the youngest members in the cabinet today I'm just 36 years old and I'm sitting in the cabinet ministry he being his student and he being my mentor it is a great occasion for me and the kind of leadership kind of a belief he has on the youngsters today I think I am the visible proof to all the youngsters who have come to this event today and similarly drones when he talks about how to improve it how to channelize them he has so many ideas and one thing he wanted was he wanted to listen to the industry he wanted all the people who are into manufacturing R&D innovation in this drone industry all of them come together let us hear them out let us see what they are doing because he realizes that there is a huge potential in this drone network and one potential that he has immediately realized couple of months back in fact a month back the city of Vijayawada has been hit by severe floods and on one side when we had to do robust activities to provide relief rehabilitation to the people of Vijayawada his mind was functioning on a different level I came to Vijayawada to assist in the relief activities when he saw me he asked just one question where are the drones where are the drones I want all the drones in the country to come here to Vijayawada because I see that they can help in providing relief and rehabilitation this thing and when we brought them we brought a record number of earlier there was no chief minister or no political leader using drones for disaster relief there was just one or two drones uh, going around for surveillance or very minimal activities but he envisioned if you properly utilize drones you can provide food you can provide milk you can provide medicines so this was a revolutionary idea for us and we have showcased it to the entire country and in fact the PM Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji also was so happy to see how drones were utilized in the relief activity in Vijayawada and that is how the vision of Chandra Babu Naidu ji works and with that vision we want to take drones to a much higher level by this summit in deliberating discussing with each and every one of you and making things go forward and another leader that I have to share along with my leader Chandra Babu Naidu is the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji in fact he has put India in such a strong position across the world today India is no longer a follower of any other country India is a leader and trendsetter and that is the change and the thought process the mindset our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has brought to this country and the way that he has transformed the whole country in the last 10 years today people in different countries leaders of different countries they want to follow India they want to see how India is progressing they want to see how India is moving forward they want to learn from us and that is the leadership that is the commitment that is the dedication our honorable prime minister is giving us and he made a challenge to all the Indians he made a commitment to all the Indians that the Indians have elected him for the third time as Prime Minister of India so what is he going to do when he is the third time Prime Minister of India he is going to work three times harder and what is the fifth largest economy in the world he is going to make it the third largest economy in the world what is three trillion dollar economy today he is going to make it five trillion dollar economy today so it is the thought process and the commitment of the Honorable Prime Minister which is an inspiration for all of us and in fact he has put a special concentration on drones if you look at my civil aviation sector also 
in the last 10 years unimaginable growth if i tell you the numbers today that we have achieved in civil aviation you would be surprised that what the situation was 10 years ago 10 years ago india had just 74 airports 74 airports in independence so many things so many activities so many cities have come up 74 airports have come but in the last 10 years under the visionary leadership of honorable prime minister we have increased the number of airports in the country from 74 to a huge number of 157 can you think of it 157 airports in the country and we are not stopping there in the next 20 years we want to build 200 more airports that is the capacity of civil aviation in this country today and we are moving forward in that direction